we are like any powerful tool. People will use it for good things and some bad things. And even though we're confident that the the good things will outweigh the bad ones by orders of magnitude, that doesn't mean that doesn't make the bad ones go away. And you know, with any technological revolution of this magnitude, some important things are going to be lost, for lack of a better word. That doesn't mean we shouldn't do this whole thing. Like the the benefits are going to be so tremendous. Um, and I also find it very hard to predict the future. Uh, so, you know, talking about where the, the incredible benefits and the downsides will be, it, that's, you know, the only thing we can say for certain is whatever we think now will be wrong. But we are very aware that those are going to come and be part of it. And we'll work as hard as we can to minimize those, but not everybody will agree what the bad parts are even. And this is going to be a moment that we're going to have to navigate together. Uh, the the collective preferences of society is an easy sentence to say. Very difficult thing to do. Well, I think there's a huge role for governments of the world to play. Uh, and I think there's also just a huge role for the kind of global discourse on this. One of the reasons we wanted to release ChatGPT is I think this stuff is easy to talk about in a theoretical vacuum, but very hard to make progress on. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we were kind of saying all the same things before the launch of ChatGPT and right. people didn't take them that seriously. And now people can feel it viscerally. Yeah. And when you can feel something, you can kind of develop intuitions for it. Uh, also, I think by incrementally, gradually putting this technology out into the world, um, people have time to adapt and think about what they want and debate ideas. And so the, the very global conversation that has happened in the 10 months or whatever it's been since we've released ChatGPT, um, I think has been one of the most important things ever to happen for yeah. the progress toward this, this good future with AI in it. I think we're all still underestimating that kind of impact and how dramatic that's going to be. Yeah. You can see it the most in young people who, like, again, ChatGPT has just not been out for that long, but the people that have had the most sort of like plasticity in their workflows. So like, you know, people who graduated college, say last year and just joined the workforce without a set way of doing things. It's amazing how much they've adapted what they do to use this tool. Yeah. Uh, same thing with, you know, people learning right now. Yo, it's, 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 it's just remarkable. And I think that's a good preview for what's going to happen. Uh, I have a group chat with some of my friends and we have a little betting pool going on about yeah. what year the first single person company that becomes a $1 billion company I love um, will be started. As these tools get more powerful, uh, what a single entrepreneur can do is, is just amazing. Uh, I don't remember that the number I put down, but it's still a few, a few years away until it starts and then it'll take a while to grow. Yeah. I, I think the main thing I'd like to see right now is just a lot of experimentation. Yeah. No one knows the right answer, uh, which is fine systems, countries that have the highest rate of experimentation are most likely to figure out how this works. I think it is gonna change the process of learning, no doubt, but we're still in this Cambrian explosion phase and right. people are building amazing, amazing applications with the technology, but we need to see where it's, where it's gonna go. I think we're seeing it the most right now in creative work and not, not necessarily, I mean, I'm sure in some ways, but not in the main way that people were really terrified about when the first image generators launched, which is yeah. there's going to be no role for, you know, artists or visual artists or whatever. What we're seeing is that what a visual artist can do now has just gone to a totally new level. Mm -hmm. um, now, I don't want to minimize also replacing some people because that's definitely happening and very painful. But the, like, the quality of creative work, I think, is going to go up so much. Yeah. Which sounds really good, but like, imagine if TikTok gets like ten times better and ten times more addictive. <laughs> Maybe right. that's not so good. It's gonna, but that's. I think that's gonna be a big change coming soon. I think it's good to study a lot of things today, but I'm hesitant to recommend too much today. Yeah. I, you know, everybody wants to like pontificate on right. here's the master plan all the way through, and we're gonna go where the technology takes us to some degree. Society yeah. does get a lot of influence, but there are things like the intersection of society and technology, you know, what technology can do, what society wants. It, it's, it's just not so obvious always. Right. And so I think, you know, I don't think like UBI, universal basic income, I don't think that's a full solution. Certainly not. Um, but I think it's part of it. 
or mm-hmm. maybe part of it, and we should study it, we should study other ideas like it. One, one thing that I would say with confidence, uh, there's really not much, but one thing I would say with confidence is that people really want agency over their future, our future, and that's super understandable. And I think one mistake a lot of people in the AI field are making is to just say, well, you know, there's going to be no jobs, but everybody will be rich and happy. And that sounds so dystopic. But right. I don't think it's what's likely to happen at all, by the way. Uh, as we've been saying, I think people will just find new and more amazing things to do in human desire and creativity and status games and whatever. It's going to turn out to be pretty limitless. Um, but I think this is a good time to study lots of ideas and be very open-minded about what the eventual solution is. Well, I think nothing beats direct experience and fluency with the tools. Mm. Uh, the data that I've seen, the people who actually are using ChatGPT and services built on things like the OpenAI API every day have much better intuitions uh, about what to do. So I think that's my top piece of advice is it's just like, and I think this is true for most things, but uh, the more, the closer you are to it as a you know actual user, the better the quality of your intuition and such will be. Amazing.